Welcome back to Media Coach. We're going to show you how to install WordPress locally on your computer. Why would you want to install WordPress locally on your own computer? There's a couple of reasons and the most common reason is that it's free to get started and to practice setting up your entire WordPress website before moving it live to a publicly viewable website domain. And when you install WordPress locally on your computer, it actually behaves just as it would for a live website. All of your files are stored on your own computer, so it's a great way to start. It's a great way to start setting up your entire WordPress website. So here we go. Installing WordPress locally on your PC is actually absolutely free and it doesn't cost you anything. What you need to do is start on this website here, Bitnami, and it allows you to deploy WordPress onto a few different places, including your local computer. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to link to this page in the description below so you can easily find this. What you need to do once you land on this page is click on the On Your Computer link. Then start the download process, depending on if you've got a Windows, an Apple or Linux. So I've got a Windows PC, so I'll download this package over here. Um, at the moment it doesn't require you to sign up or anything so I can just say no thanks take me to the download I can save that file to my computer okay it's 150 megabytes so depending on the speed of your internet it might take a few minutes mine's pretty quick and it's already done so once that's done downloading you can open that installation file Select your language. Yep, continue. Okay, this is going to set up the Bitnami WordPress stack to install WordPress locally on the PC. So make sure these two checkboxes are checked. Go next, go next. Enter your name and your email address. And select a login username and you'll have to keep this in mind for the next step once it's installed as well as your password and then hit next you can rename the name of your website if you want to or you can change this later and go next keep that deselected Keep that as it is by default. And then what should then happen is it should start the installation process. So give that a few minutes to finish. Okay, that's now installed, and that took about five minutes for me on my computer, so just let it go through the process. Let's click Finish. And what we should see here after installation is finished is a screen that lets you access WordPress. So if I just open that in a new tab, you'll see the URL there, and that is your local WordPress website installed on your computer. So what you can do now is start creating your new WordPress website from scratch. So you can watch one of our other videos to actually do this and go through the entire process. To log in to WordPress, what you need to do is go to this URL over here, forward slash login. That should take you to the login screen. I'll enter the username and password that I used in the previous screen during the setup process. And there we go. We're into our WordPress dashboard. It hasn't costed us anything and we can now start creating our new WordPress website. When you're finished with creating your WordPress website, what you can do is move it from a local host to a web host so that it can be live for the public to see. So we're going to create another video to do that. Check out the video in the description below. We'll link to it there for you to transfer this website when you're finished with building your website, whether it's a business website, whether it's an e-commerce website or a blog, anything it is, 
after you follow one of our other videos, you can then transfer this onto a publicly viewable live website with something like your businessname.com. That's about it. We've shown you how to install WordPress locally on your PC and you can start practicing making your brand new website right now. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Otherwise, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more awesome stuff on creating a WordPress website. Speak soon.